this is Caroline from Zen Art and Wellness and today I am going to show you a little bit about water coloring and this type of water color is something to do that could help calm for anxiety relaxation and just uh, play around with the water colors and just enjoy your experience with it so what you will need is um, brushes you will need watercolors, and I use a spray bottle to um, wet down my watercolors. And I am going to wet down my paper a little bit. So I'm going to do a wet on wet technique, and I have my container of water as well. And you're going to start painting with any color that you want. I have metallic paints and I also have just regular um, colors that you would find in a palette. So go ahead and just start spreading the paint on. And just overlap the colors and don't be afraid of the blending. Let the watercolors blend on their own. You can start making like squiggly lines in it. Just try to be very loose in your painting. You could just start adding shorter strokes. Start bringing out maybe some kind of image. Sometimes these will start suggesting something. Um, for me, I see flowers in this. Um, other people might see something a little bit different. So go ahead and pull out what you see. If you don't see anything, just to keep exploring and have fun. Sometimes you make these types of um, experimental paintings and you don't come up with an image and that is fine. That has happened to me several times.
Okay, so my image is a little damp, but I'm going to show you the next step that you could possibly take. If you like your painting just the way it is, then stop at this point. If you want to add another element to it, you could take a writing utensil, and it could be any color. I'm just using black, and it's a black pen. Um, you could use color pencils, but just make sure your paper is a fully dried for that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just do some doodling on top just to bring out some extra features on it. And it might be a little challenging um, if it's too wet, so you would need to have this dry. But I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do. And I just kind of go and add some some detail. Um, some of the, some of them I won't. Some areas I won't touch much. Some I will do more detail. But I'm just going to pull out some interesting textures in it. And you see, like I'm just trying to paint with the writing utensil, um, the same type of way I was using the paint. I'm doing that just to keep that 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 expression soft. That's basically what I'm going to um, have. I might go back on it as it dries um, and add more detail, but you um, have a good idea of using the, the ink pen on a watercolor drawing. So this one ended up being um, floral, ended up being flowers. Like I said, sometimes you don't necessarily get an image from it. So I'm going to use the, the ballpoint pen just to add extra detail in it. So I, in some areas I have already done that. And it just brings out some extra details. I'm using the pen the same way as I would with the brush. Um, just trying to keep the expression free and not to... Um, have it to be tight and um, too rough looking. Okay, so that is how to use the watercolor um, with a inking pen. Um, hope you enjoy this and um, leave a comment below if you um, want to share in this process with others. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.